there's no way to survive a zombie apocalypse. I'm here to tell you there is. My name is Bob and I'm speaking to you from the, the zombie bunker deep beneath the bowels of the Kansas City Public Library. We care about you. We care about you enough that we want you to be among the few that survive a zombie uprising. And so we've planned a Halloween film series all through October. Nothing but zombie movies. Come and learn. Zombie movies as we know them began really with Night of the Living Dead back in 1968. George Romero came up with this idea. People who were dead came back to life and feasted on the living. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of scary. It was kind of gross too. But here's what's really interesting. Those zombies were slow moving. You could outrun them. I'll tell you what, you say, zombie uprising, I need firearms. Not for a George Romero zombie, you don't. Made this little puppy out of a log and a bowel. We call it Thor, it's a zombie mall. Makes a great noise when you, you know, they're two or three weeks dead. They get a little brittle, <laughs> a lot of fun. Now we come to Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead. It's going to be shown on October 8th. Now here's the deal with Zack Snyder. His zombies aren't slow. You can't run circles around them. They can outrun you. You're going to need firepower. Some of you are going to say, I want me a cowboy rifle. Well, I got news for you. Unless you're a great shot, it isn't going to do you any good from distance. Here's a decent alternative. It's a shotgun. And the uh, great thing about a shotgun is you don't have to be a good shot. A pump action will hold eight shots all at once. Now, I gotta mention this because, well, it's unpleasant, but it's important. You're gonna need one of these, not for the zombies. You see, if a zombie buys you, bites you on the arm or the leg, you're gonna turn into a zombie real soon, but if you can cut it off in time, you got a chance. Let's talk about handguns. Handguns are important, and I know, how, I know what you're thinking. I saw Dirty Harry, I want one of them big ones. No, you don't. Here's the trouble. A big handgun is hard to carry, it's hard to hold, it's hard to aim, they're inaccurate as all get out, and the bullets are expensive. If you get yourself a sweet little 22, it's lightweight, bang, 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 and here's one, something really important. It doesn't make much noise. I'll tell you what, you go out with a hand cannon and start blasting away, every Take zombie in two miles is going to know exactly where you are, and you do not want that. Now we come to 28 Days Later, which is playing on the 15th in the film vault. 28 Days Later was made by Danny Boyle, who won an Oscar a couple years ago. He made this zombie movie back in 2002, but you know, a lot of people don't even consider it a zombie movie, because technically a zombie is a dead person that comes back to life. And in Danny Boyle's movie, the ghouls were like people who were infected with this nasty virus invented by the military. My attitude is, if it, if it walks like a zombie and it bites like a zombie and it smells like a zombie, it's a zombie. Tony Boyle's zombies were a little bit different. For one thing, because they weren't already dead and resurrected, you don't have to shoot them in the head. You can stab them, you can burn them, you can drown them, you can asphyxiate them, you can set them on fire, you can hit them with a mallet, you can do anything you want to. You gotta remember though, if you don't get them down, they just keep on coming. <laughs> Now, just to prove to you that we don't take this zombie stuff too seriously, we're capping off our zombie marathon with two really funny zombie comedies. On October 22nd, we've got Shaun of the Dead, in which a couple of Brit twits don't even really notice that there's a zombie revolution going on because, well, let's face it, your average Englishman is already kind of dead anyway. It's a hoot. And then, on the 29th, we've got Zombieland. This is a good one. It's got Bill Murray. You remember him? Well. He has possibly the greatest performance of his career in Zombieland. And no, it has nothing to do with the movie Garfield. That's what we got coming for you. Now, I want you to take it all in. I want you to prepare. Have a little place down in the basement along with the powdered milk and the canned goods. Stock yourself up with some zombie fighting stuff and get ready. We don't know when it's coming, but when it does, I want our library patrons to be ready for him.